can't try everything once in your life, it's for everyone. He made his costume and I made mine and then we just thought, why not? <laughs> Supports are really important. When I got into Dota, ESO on Frankfurt 215 was announced. And it was like so long still to go and I was like, how do I keep the hype going? I didn't know what to do, so I figured, why not spend that time on a cosplay? Of course, I got a bit obsessed and here I still am. There's the creative stuff that's kind of hard, but it's also the most fun to do because you can you start out with a piece of foam and then you end up with a dragon head, which is just pretty cool. Probably the most I do by myself. Sometimes I ask friends or my dad to help me a bit. The whole construction is about 15 kilo, 3,000 real feathers. <laughs> the wings are about 350 meters. <laughs> I can't see myself really good because the mirrors are too small. <laughs> but it's cool when the others came and everyone says that I look amazing. It wasn't easy, but I'm very happy now. I'm proud of what I did. This is worth it. <laughs> I only cosplay characters I identify with. For our audience, it's more enjoyable if you act like the characters. Definitely. Don't give up, that's the most important thing. You say to you like, oh my god, oh my god, what happened? But it's a really nice hobby and you can meet people who got the life of color. You collected such beautiful memories and the feeling is just awesome.